Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today we're gonna be taking a look at this. This is the vinyl record player from Music Public Kingdom. And check out this bevy of beauties in terms of features here on the side. We've got vintage premium design, two speed turntable 33 and 45 with auto stop feature, built in speakers with good sound quality, we'll check that out, metal tone arm and metal knobs. So that's kind of what it looks like from the front big, you're not going to want to miss this. This is Recordology. Okay, so here it is. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. Packaging seems pretty dang sturdy. All right, we've got plug accessories here. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Something wrapped in plastic. Where? Wow, that's a weird plastic. It's a nice plastic. Okay. So we've got the user manual. As you can see, this is a suitcase player um, of sorts, but this has a magnetic cartridge. So I'm really excited. Uh, people are always saying, boy, if they would just put, if somebody would just put a, um, magnetic cartridge in a suitcase player, everything would be fine. So it looks like uh, this company might have done that. So I'm really curious to see how that goes. Okay, so this is um, a thank you card, just thanking you for uh, your purchase and a QR code, you can get more information, all that good stuff. So that's good. Um, this thing is packed in here really, really well. It's got this high-end foam packing. It's not regular styrofoam. Um, this looks like it is plug adapters for the power supply. And that's about all I can see so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide it out. And let's see if I unwrap it upside down like I usually do everything. Okay, I got some accessories over here. So, cool, check this out. Two-in-one vinyl record cleaning set. So let us open this. It's got instructions on the side there as well. Awesome. Check this out, guys. This is slick. Like a carbon fiber brush on one side and felt on the other. That is cool. Very, very cool. All right, that's awesome. You know, not many record players would give you that right off the bat, so that's all good. Super interesting there. Um, and I'm assuming this is the power supply. Yes, it is. And it's even got the US plug already on there, which is perfect for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss the adapters, um, which I don't need. And I doubt I'll be traveling overseas anytime soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass those on. And carefully removing the foam blocking materials. So, so far, I'm super impressed on packaging alone. This plastic, it's hard to describe, but this isn't like a crinkly plastic. It's kind of like a, I don't even know, it's like matte and it's, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's totally different than anything I've seen before. It feels higher quality. All right, this is cool. What the heck? Like there's plastic between the layers here. That is so cool. Okay, so there's clips on the side. So I'm gonna open these clips. Okay, so the plastic protects. Oh, cool, look at this. This is awesome. Foam blocking material also wrapped in plastic and more materials to protect things. Oh, guys, this looks really cool. It's got a very stiff felt mat um, that has a plastic platter. And uh, let's see here. Metal knobs, like they were saying, and uh, tone arm is metal. Let's go ahead and unclip it here. And it's got an Audio Technica cartridge. Remove this protective rubber band. And, uh, but before we look too close at that, I wanna look around back here. So, um, so this is like a, a laminate leather type of material. Power supply in back here and audio output. And you can tell there's like a layer of film over this, oh, this is nice. Even a layer of film over that to protect that surface as well. 
good quality looking hinges. Uh, vinyl record player made in China, model TT270. On the bottom we have rubberized feet. There is no handle, so it's not quite a suitcase player per se. Um, it is a petite little thing. This is really, really cool. All right, let's get a closer look. Okay, so a really interesting tone arm assembly here. I don't know, is this rubber? Okay, that's just a temporary thing. So that little, it's like a plastic sleeve to protect it. They really go to great measures to protect that tone arm. It's got a really nice clip there. So far, I'm very impressed. It's got a cueing lever, which is nice. So you can rotate your stylus across the surface of the record and then uh, lower it gently. This looks to be, so it's a typical entry level Audio-Technica magnetic cartridge, but it looks like this is a standards-based head shell assembly. Um, I'm not sure, the, it doesn't look like there's a, a head shell mount, but it looks like there's the ability to upgrade the cartridge anyway. So it does have metal knobs, so on and off switches, volume, um, it's got a speed select, 33, 45 Bluetooth, and then it's got an auto stop on or off, um, which is cool. So um, yeah, let's give it a listen. Uh, we're going to play, to begin with, um, a 33 RPM record. Uh, I believe this is public domain music. I hope. I hope this is public domain music. Um, but this is Elvis Presley at the Louisiana Hayride. Um, super cool record. They call this gold vinyl. My wife calls this skin-colored vinyl, um, but I think it's cool anyway. Um, so this should be um, copyright friendly. We'll find out. But um, yeah, this is like Elvis before RCA, you know, before he got famous whatsoever. So I'm turning it on and we're just going to play it ambiently in the room here. Um, these recordings aren't the best recordings right off the bat. Um, they're kind of hit or miss, uh, but this is more of a novelty slash portability kind of item, I would say. Um, however, it does, says, it does say it has good sound. So we're gonna try out another studio recording as well, but let's start with this. I love it so far. I think this is actually really, really cool. <laughs> The downside to this is it is public domain recordings and the quality on this is kind of spotty. So let's let's scoot down here and see if we can find one that's a little bit better. This is from a radio show that he did. You know, it's got a very full range speaker. Um, I would like to hear some more modern music on this, but so far I'm impressed with the sound quality. You know, the sound quality on this is better than a suitcase player. That is for sure. It's definitely got more low end. Um, I really want to hear some modern music on this. This is not modern music. With all that build up, you'd think I'd be doing modern music. This is actually a Tommy Dorsey record, and uh, I do want to hear this on it as well, though. So let's go ahead and give this a give this a listen here. It's got a very bright sound, actually. Very, very impressive. You guys ever see me doing this to any material with the back of my hand? I'm kind of testing to see if it's metal, because often you can you can tell if a part is metal or not by whether or not it's noticeably cold to the touch. This is a metal grill on the front here, uh, metal tone arm. Um, this is metal back here. It does have a counterbalance, which is really cool. I don't know if you can adjust it or if it's fixed. Um, it does seem like it tracks fairly lightly. I don't have a gauge to verify that. But yeah, that is a metal grill. I'm not sure if that's a mono speaker or stereo. Um, but yeah, this thing is super, super impressive. Let me, let me go find a more modern recording because I do want to test a, a higher fidelity recording. This definitely sounds like I'd expect it to. Uh, so far, I'm impressed, guys. So far, fingers crossed, this looks really, really good. So let me go get another record. Hold on. One thing I've noticed, it doesn't come with a 45 spacer, so you'll have to provide your own. 
However, that's not a deal breaker. There's some really cool 45 spacers. In fact, we're going to be reviewing some of those coming up in the near future. So switching this to 45. Now, this record is going to be a higher fidelity. This is like a uh, uh, kind of an early 80s, maybe late 70s uh, Oak Ridge Boys recording. So it'll be a higher fidelity. It'll be a little scratchy, though. But... Wow. Very impressive, you guys. I, I'm sorry I can't play more. You know how the copyright goons are. Um, that is really impressive. So it's got a good bright end. It's very um, warm sounding. So there is good emphasis on the bass. Uh, the hardware seems solid. Um, I feel like it's tracking nice and light. Um, I can't verify that exactly until I have a gauge. But from all intents and purposes, everything I see... You can tell this is not damaging or doing any harm to the record. Um, but I wish I had a 45 adapter built in. Maybe I just haven't discovered it. But um, so far, I'm super impressed. It's heavy duty. I like the leather material. I like the speaker grill. I like the hardware. I wish I had a handle. That would be cool. But this is nice, guys. Okay, so uh, Music Public Kingdom. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below. I am going to endorse this product, so if you guys want to get one, um, I'm going to have a special discount code um, included as well. So you guys can get a discount. I believe it's 30% off on this unit. And uh, it is cool. It is really cool. And it's a small form factor. I mean, that's only like a 7 or 8 inch platter. So, I mean, this would fit very nice on a bookshelf, and it's all inclusive. It's got everything you need. It's got the speaker. It's got the tone arm. Obviously, it's got everything you need for a record player. Uh, but it's got a speaker. You can do Bluetooth as well. I'm not going to test out the Bluetooth because once you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all. Uh, but the main thing is what's the sound quality. So the sound quality for Bluetooth is going to be as good as, the, uh, as good as the record player. And then some. So super impressed, you guys. So there it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Cool record player, guys. Very cool. Okay, guys, and there it is. I hope you enjoyed this show. If you want to get your hands on this turntable, click on the link in the description below. But in the meantime, thank you guys for being there. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Recordology. Stay tuned for a new show every Sunday and Wednesday. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check us out on Instagram and Twitter.